We got a fish on. We got a fish on. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. Let's hope it stays on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What do we got here? It's not fighting a whole lot. Not a huge fighter. Not a huge fighter, but that is so cool. Let's see here. Come on. Ooh, fighting a little better here. Fighting a little better now. Ooh, I take it back. It's actually actually doing okay. It's fighting kind of like a trout. Going off to the left there a little. All right, what do we got? I just want to see it. Ooh, ooh, oh, this might be a, uh, ooh, whoa, 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 what do we got here? What do we got? This is, this is interesting. This is a, uh, look at that. Unbelievable. So this is a, this might be a uh, pike minnow. Yeah, look at that. Check that out. So this here, let me go ahead and open the spool a little bit, get the rod out of the way. All right, so we have caught a northern pike minnow. Now you might have heard about these fish before. They're a bit of a controversial topic here in Washington state. Uh, over in eastern Washington, they are one of the leading causes of juvenile salmon deaths. Uh, what's happening, from my understanding, is it's because of the dams over there that uh, these guys have gotten very comfortable and they're growing huge in size and numbers and eating a lot of the baby salmon. So what they've actually got over there is the uh, Pike Minnow Reward Program, I think is the name. I'll link to it down in the bio where you can check it out. There's guys making six figures in a matter of a couple months or li literally just weeks going over and catching these Pike Minnow. Um, and, and they're, yeah, they're, they're, you know, turning them in for five to eight bucks a fish. So totally worth it if you ever want to check it out. Now, this is actually not an invasive species. They are native to this area, but they've simply gotten a little out of hand. Over here in Lake Sammamish, from what I understand, they are not actually a problem. So I could let this fish go, but uh, I did shank him a little bad with the hook. So he's bled quite a bit. So I'm not sure if he's going to survive. So what we'll do is... Uh, have this guy as an experiment. The belly is totally fat and full of uh, food, and there are a lot of salmon smolt here in Lake Sammamish right now, so we're gonna test the theory and see if they are, in fact, also eating salmon smolt over here, and I would not be surprised if they are. So let's go ahead, I'll meet you guys at home, and we'll cut them open. All right, we are back home, and let's go ahead and dissect this northern pike minnow aka squawfish and see what is inside this big fat belly here i mean look at this belly this one's been gorging on something so i'm really curious to see if it is those baby salmon because then uh well i mean we know that what they're saying is true but i'm just curious how much uh of those baby salmon they're eating here in lake sammamish <clears throat> and uh you know lake washington and everywhere on uh, this side of the mountains. So, ooh, there we go, popped something. All right, let's take a good peek inside here. Where is that belly? Oh, swim bladder, wait a second. Wait a second. I am not seeing a big fat belly full of food. So we've got a bunch of uh, bunch of the guts here. We've got the swim bladder. Hmm. Interesting. So this pike minnow's stomach is actually completely empty. Not exactly what I expected. I guess that. Um, it is a good lesson learned because look at that, that stomach is absolutely friggin' empty. So, you know, th th that kind of confirms what I was saying earlier is that, uh, you know, from what I understand, over here, they're not that much of a problem. 
Um, as compared, I mean, geez, compared to this trout that I gutted the other day. Oh, <laughs> there we go, look at that. Look at this little thing. Look at that poor little salmon. Oh no. <laughs> There's another little salmon smolt. The salmon have a tough life. Glad that, glad that we're not a salmon. Look at that. Just, I, I thought I was done filming, but then he just puked up a couple more. So uh, let's see this. One, two, three, four, five little salmon smolt in his belly. And at the boat launch where we pulled the kayaks out, I know he spit out two more there. So that's seven that he had in his belly after pulling him on the boat. And my lure was going to be an eighth one he was going to eat. So that means... Uh, an 18 inch trout can easily at least fit eight baby salmon into their belly. I mean, that thing had its belly loaded with friggin' salmon smolt. Um, and here's a pike minnow that everyone's, you know, yelling about. And it has, I mean, it's a good size. It absolutely could be fitting those baby uh, the, the, the salmon smolt in its mouth, and it's not eating any of them. Um, so y y just interesting. I'm not saying that it's not a problem, uh, maybe over here too, but I, I think that, uh, the whole idea of, Hey, kill them and, and throw them back in the water, uh, you know, here for these, uh, Northern Pike minnow might not apply over here in Western Washington. Uh, again, where they are also native fish. It's not like these guys are invasive and, um, yeah, yeah I don't think that they're necessarily out of control over here. So, uh, yeah, no hate on these little guys. So we're, we're going to make good use of them. Maybe eat a little bit of them. You're not supposed to eat too much of these because they do have some pollutants in them and, uh, maybe use the rest for, for some dog food and, and, uh, fertilizer for any leftovers. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. This was fairly informative. So, uh, yeah, until next time, just feel free to subscribe and hit that little uh, bell so that you don't miss the videos coming out. I am posting now about at least once a week, hopefully trying to stick around twice a week, uh, all with Pacific Northwest fishing, uh, adventures, tutorials, uh, just some entertainment, whatever you guys want to see, okay? So, uh, yeah, until next time, fish on, guys.